All right. Obviously, the big story here today, this from the front page of WrestlingObserver.com. The lawyer representing Janelle Grant says Grant was coerced into writing, quote, a love letter to Vince McMahon in late 2021. New York Post published an article on Monday containing a lengthy email Grant wrote to McMahon on December 24, 2021, in which he professes her love for WWE's former executive chairman. Grant's lawyer, Ann Callis, said McMahon instructed Grant to write the letter, which was obtained from Grant's laptop as part of WWE's investigation into allegations against McMahon. It is expected to appear in future court filings as Grant's lawsuit against McMahon and WWE proceeds. Frankly, Ann Callis said, this is the lawyer of Grant, frankly, it's, dis- it's pretty disgusting that Vince's weeks late attempt to defend his horrendous behavior, behavior he claims to this day never happened, is to try to showcase letters that Vince himself coerced her to write. His psychological torture of her continues, as is typical with abusive predators who respond to women speaking out with increased threats. While Janelle isn't a stranger to his intimidation tactics, this is a new low even for him. Callis noted, much of Grant's letter to McMahon was plagiarized. For instance, Grant's Uh, Grant wrote to McMahon, I feel understood, accepted, loved, and appreciated for who I am at my core. You see my heart. You see my soul. There are few people who know the secret of making a heaven here on earth. You are one of those rare people. Lines taken verbatim from the 1947 film The Bishop's Wife. Another part of the letter was taken from a 2021 GQ interview with Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly. What? McMahon's lawyer, Jessica... And this is another thing here. This is what we learned today. Are you ready for this? Yes. Vince McMahon's lawyer is Jessica Tob Rosenberg of Kasowich Benson Torres. Who are they, you ask? This is the same firm that represented MLW in its 2023 antitrust lawsuit against WWE. Which, of course, was settled, and uh, MLW ended up with uh, whatever they ended up with. $20 million or whatever it ended up being. Vince's lawyer is from the firm that represented MLW against WWE. And then uh, Vince's lawyer says, No one coerced Ms. Grant to write that letter. She wrote it of her own accord. The fact the letter shows it was the 24th draft... Speaks volumes, which I'm actually not. Sh- I, I, I'm not it's baffling. Sh- well, she began the letter. If you want to read the whole letter, it's on the front page of WrestlingObserver.com. I'm not going to read it here, but she begins the letter saying this is draft 24. So I don't know if they're just saying it's draft 24 because that's what she wrote, or if they have some way of determining it was actually the 24th draft that she wrote. But uh, it says no one in her, uh, nowhere in her voluminous complaint that is replete with fabrications this is vince's lawyer does she mention being coerced into such behavior the language of the letter is consistent with other communications she made to mr mcmahon over the course of their consensual relationship and again if you want to uh read this letter which is so long uh you're welcome to do so it's even described as a rambling 2200 word letter I, you know, 68 days after the initial story comes out. It's interesting timing with what the WWE PR machine put out today about ratings as they kick off their WrestleMania week. I don't know if Vince's lawyer is flexing in the way that she thinks is... I guess she's flexing in a way that she thinks is beneficial by saying that it's the 24th draft that speaks volumes... I don't know what that speaks volumes of. If what does that have to do these, with anything? Yeah, if she's writing these letters at you know his request to the point where she's actually just lifting things completely out of other articles because he just wants to have his letter, um, you know, it's just it's something. It's something else. That's for sure. I uh, again. This is now the second time, too, that should be pointed out that Nick Khan 
has been said to know about this relationship. Now, granted, they both come from Janelle Grant, but this is now Janelle Grant, you know. I don't care who knows about it. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. So the in, I read the entire letter, okay? Mm-hmm. And these are the names that she wrote in the letter. And I guess one of them could have been a misspelling. But she says, even though so few people know about us, The most freeing feeling this year came when we got to act like a couple, openly, freely, when Mickey, Paul, and the chef were around us. So, nowhere is Nick Khan mentioned in here, but Paul would likely be... Well, I shouldn't even say that, because we don't know. But people have been presuming that must be... I mean, it could be... Actually, there are multiple Pauls in the company. It could be Triple H, could be Paul Heyman. Well, that's. But, I don't Brian, know who that's... Mickey is, and I certainly don't know who this chef is. But that's not true because it, it goes on to say whether it's your assistants, a chef, Brad, Nick, Johnny, or whoever sees us together. I think it's undeniable to them or anyone who sees us that we are. In Actually, love you with may a, be right. I may have that my, we are uh... in love with a capital L, which is one of the things that she is accused or is is said that she has lifted directly from that GQ thing with Megan Kelly. And and, and Machine Gun Kelly, I think, or whatever her name, Megan uh, Fox and Machine Gun Kelly. I think that in copying Although and pasting, Megan Kelly and Machine Gun Kelly together—that's a story. Actually, this may be an issue with the front page of WrestlingObserver.com because the letter on the front page ends with "It must be intoxicating," with no other, uh, and not even a period there. So presumably, there's more of the letter I have not read. Uh, so if you're listening to this and you're an editor at the front page of the website. Uh, you might want to put the rest of the letter in. So what does it say? What names does it say after that? Uh, again, at one point in this long thing, it says, uh, whether it's your assistants, a chef, Brad, Nick, Johnny, or whoever sees us together, I think it's undeniable to them or anyone who sees us that we are in love with a capital L. Others who think they know you so well must be surprised when they see us act so sweetly together, practically like kids. Where is this entire letter? I may have to go to the post. Well, we'll follow that up after the break. Well, yeah, and there is... But yes, I presume that's in there if you've read that. Yeah, that's in the New York Post. And even there, if you go to the New York Post site, it's got a kind of a slideshow for it, which goes seven pictures. So that shows you how long this letter is. Why is this so difficult? Because it's Monday. Well, it's just, I mean... So you didn't have lights? It's just... So you're starting WrestleMania week, brother. Come on. Well, regardless, this is this is the latest in the story. We'll have more on this after the break. But if you have comments, you can text us 425-780-7566. That is 425-780-7566. Uh, the only other thing I could add is uh, the story is apparently there was another uh, communication where uh, she, I think it was on the 21st, somewhere around there, she got surgery on her finger. And so uh, she sent Vince a text basically saying, you know, how am I going to do this with the finger? How am I going to write your letter? And so, you know, her side is saying, well, that right there is proof that Vince told her to uh, write this letter to him. And uh, yes, whether it's your assistants, a chef. So we still don't know who this chef is. Brad, Nick, Johnny, or whoever sees us together. I think it's undeniable to them or anyone who sees us. We are in love with a capital L. Well, Vince ain't making pancakes, so it's probably safe to assume, even though we do not know that it's his personal chef. And in this text message that she sent him, which the Janelle Grant side did not put out, but has said, yes, it did come from Vince. Uh, she does say, how will I write your letter? I can type it and read it or try to write it in a couple of days. I'm so sorry if I messed this up. I want you to have a nice letter. Back in a moment with more, everybody. Observer Live. Back in the show, Brian Elber is here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Semper, VV, also WrestlingObserver.com. This punk interview. Mm. Apparently, we'll be talking about that tomorrow. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's You'll funny. be talking about it tonight, that's for sure. You know, what's funny is, uh, you know, I, I've read, uh, I haven't heard it from him. So I'll say limited things, but I have read the recaps of what he said, and it's uh, it's pretty funny how uh, nothing he said contradicts anything that we reported at any time about any of this. So, about that. Hey guys, did you love this clip? 
If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.